guys, welcome back to our channel. We are mother and daughter, full-time schooly life. Today, I want to talk about something that has been on my mind for a while now. I want to debunk some of the myths about schooly life and band life. I know there are a lot of misconceptions out there, and I want to set the record straight. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Myth number one, van life and schooly life is just for hippies and millennials. Okay, so I might have sage in my van and it might be a lot of them are hippies and millennials, but- So schooly and van life are for people who wanna live a more simple and sustainable life. I've seen people from all walks of life and all ages take the leap to try this lifestyle. Myth number two, you have to be a handy person to live in a schoolie or a van. <laughs> Although it would come in handy to have some handyman skills, it's not a requirement. You can actually hire professionals to do that work for you, or you can just buy a pre-converted van. Or there are so many simple solutions nowadays that are kind of already pre-done. You just have to make the decision to start. And that takes us into myth number three, schoolie and van life is expensive. Once that may be true that your initial investment may be a little high, you will save money once you're on the road as far as rent goes, utilities, just those other common sticks and bricks household expenses. Now you will have some expenses as far as your van or your vehicle goes, but it's not near as expensive as living in a traditional house. Myth number four, you have to give up modern conveniences like a bed and a toilet. No way. Your van or your bus can be equipped with all of the modern amenities that you need to be comfortable, including a bed, a shower, a toilet, an oven, Just know they can all be included. Myth number five. You have to sacrifice privacy in schoolie and van life. That is absolutely not true. You can create privacy and if you want to get alone and have some solitude, it's super easy to just move. There is tons of privacy in van life and you can create all the privacy that you are seeking at the time. Myth number six, schoolie and van life are dangerous. Driving in a car can be dangerous. Life in a regular home can be dangerous. It's not any more dangerous living in a van or a schoolie than it is in a regular house. And if you take the right precautions and you have somewhere safe to park, that usually can be avoided. Plus, I truly think it's like the aura and the energy that you give off. So if that's what you're attracting, then you're gonna have that wherever you go. Stay tuned because next week's video, we are gonna go look for some land and we're taking you with us. 